Howdy y'all, welcome to Rowlett, Texas. If you're thinking about moving to Rowlett, well today we're gonna hit the streets, all right? I'm gonna walk you through some different neighborhoods at some different price points so you can see what it's like to live here in Rowlett. And if you stick around all the way till the end, I'll even show you the top listing in all of Rowlett so you can kind of see where the ceiling is here. And I'll even show you some of the main attractions along the way. So if that's what you're looking for, then stay tuned because we're getting into it right now. Hey ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the most thorough deep dive into all things Dallas, Texas, well, this is the channel that helps you do that. So I invite you to subscribe down below. Make sure you tap the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on the current market. Here in Dallas, Texas, we drop new videos every single week. My name is Jimmy Webb Jr. I'm a local real estate agent, born and raised here, and we're getting tons of calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are ready to make a move out here in Dallas, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about buying or selling here in the Dallas area, then you gotta reach out, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you wanna jump straight to a Zoom call with us. That is our favorite, but whatever way is easiest for you, hey, we've got your back. We're making that smooth move out here in Dallas, Texas, or in Rowlett, like I'm here today. So uh, you can see the old, uh, the first uh, water tower that was ever out here in Rowlett. We're out here at the uh, uh, historic downtown district. Not really a whole lot going on, but you do have some, some cool apartments, uh, village apartments right here. Uh, but what I wanna do real quick is just give you kind of a brief introduction of uh, what's going on out here in Rowlett. What's the vibe? What are some of the stats and things like that uh, as we always do, right? So uh, location wise, you know, you're gonna be about 25 minutes away from downtown, that's it, okay? And then, uh, but 40 minutes away from DFW Airport, okay? So that's a little bit more of a hike to get over there. Uh, median home price here is 228,000 and 86% of uh, of residents here own their homes right so definitely a place where uh, definitely a family friendly uh, atmosphere out here uh, where people come and really set some roots down and uh, raise their family pretty good schools out here as well uh, population is 63,000, so not too small not too big either uh, and then a median age of 39 so um, you know you've got a little bit older crowd but uh, you got some 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 younger people coming out here as well uh, they're, they're actually trying to, um, uh, actually, I'll show you the, the Sapphire Bay. You'll have to stick around for that uh, and we'll give you updates on that. That's why you gotta be subscribed so we, you can get updates on when that is completed. But uh, yeah, we'll get there. But uh, uh, let's talk about median household income is 101,000. So people are doing pretty well for themselves out here. Uh, job market is uh, uh, really, it's, it's really kind of a suburb and then you're gonna, you know, uh, travel to your job type of type of place, right? So, you know, you have some businesses out here, right? But, uh, you know, for the most part, um, you know, majority of people are gonna be going into Dallas or into Plano, that sort of thing, okay? So uh, that's kind of the vibe out here. Uh, schools I mentioned are, are rated pretty well. You know, some neighborhoods are gonna feed into Garland ISD as well, so, uh, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about that a uh, little bit more in detail in the next segment here. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're here at the, the our, actually at the beginning of fall. I almost said end of summer. It's not the end of summer anymore, but uh, it, I mean, it's beautiful. It's like 75 degrees outside right now. Um, yeah, I mean, July and August here in Texas, uh, as you might know, or uh, July and August are kind of brutal, right? As far as the summer, or as, as far as the heat goes, if you're not used to it, you know, I'm used to it, so it's fine. But, um, you know, some people can't, uh, uh, can't handle it, right? But uh, uh, honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I'd much rather have to deal with that versus having an extended winter, right? So, you know, having snow on the ground, nobody knows how to drive and things like that uh, on, with the snow uh, everywhere. So uh, I'd much rather have to uh, deal with this kind of weather. And then outside of that July and August, I mean, a lot of, you're gonna have a lot of, you know, days like this, uh, where, you know, ranging from maybe 60 to 75, you know, it might, might go into the 50s in the winter time, you know, uh, maybe some 40s in like the super winter here in Dallas, might have one snow day. It, it's actually kind of funny, every, uh, it seems like almost every Valentine's Day weekend, there's always snow, okay? So uh, 
Uh, anyway, that's just kind of a, a random thing about Dallas. But uh, um, as far as the uh, tornadoes go, I know um, people are asking, well, you guys are in Tornado Alley, right? Well, yeah, but no, okay? So I've only seen two tornadoes in my entire life, um, you know, uh, so it's they're not as prevalent as you might think. Um, yeah, definitely. We're on the very, you know, southern tip of all that stuff, and so we don't see a lot of that, honestly. Uh, so uh, I'd say hail is much more common. So, you know, as long as you have car insurance, you'll be fine. Uh, you know, the insurance companies can take care of that, no problem. Uh, but yeah, the, the vibe out here in Rowlett, getting back to Rowlett, is pretty quiet out here. Uh, you're actually, you're leaning towards more the rural side. You know, you've got urban, suburban, and then more the rural type of, of uh, lifestyle. Going to be leaning a little bit more on that side, but uh, definitely a family-oriented suburb. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? Let's, uh, uh, let's take you through those different neighborhoods, ask some different price points, and show you all the different styles of living, all right? Let's cruise. All right, welcome to the first neighborhood. So uh, this home that we're gonna feature right here is going for 295,000, three beds, two baths on 1,800 square feet, which is gonna put you at $168 a square foot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, built in 1987 on 0.15 of an acre lot right here. Uh, you are gonna have a two car garage, by the way, uh, but that's gonna be on the back side. So this is kind of a common thing here in Dallas uh, and of course Rowlett as well is, um, so I know you don't see the garage right here, but um, let me see, let me try to see if uh, we can get, uh, the, the fence is blocking it here. Uh, but what happens is they have the alleys on the back side, right? And so uh, everybody's garage is gonna be on the back side and then the alley gives you access uh, to your garage back there, right? So the idea is, you know, to protect the front side curb appeal on the front. So the street looks nice and everything like that, right? So uh, on the on the inside of that one, uh, you are gonna have the vaulted ceilings. You, you have a, a large brick fireplace uh, and you actually have two living areas in there. So definitely move in ready on the inside. Uh, as far as the neighborhood goes here, I mean, you got some big old trees. I mean, you know, you got this one here. I'm gonna show you down the street a little bit. So, you know, uh, not many cars parked on here. You do have some, some cars parked in the street on there. I don't really like that, but uh, you know, uh, every now and then you'll run into that a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be dominated by that traditional brick style. You know, I know they had uh, some, some wooden shutters on that one back there. Uh, to give it a little accent, to a nice little touch right there. Uh, landscaping is pretty good in here, you know, pretty clean. Nobody really has anything, uh, you know, crazy in their yard or anything like that. Uh, so it's going to be pretty clean uh, right here. Uh, pretty quiet as well. I mean, I mean, I hear, you know, an, an AC unit going on over there. I mean, that's about it, right? So, uh, and then you're going to be pretty close to uh, Route 66 over there, which is where a lot of the shopping and restaurants and, uh, you know, Home Depot and stuff like that is uh, pretty close to George Bush, which will lead you over to 30 as well. So if you got access really to every major highway right here, uh, I've got the elementary school. Uh, so I came down this road over here and the elementary school is going to be due that way right over there. And uh, yeah, speaking of schools, okay, so let's get into that, that a little bit. So. Um, what happens is, so Rowlett will, will feed into both Rockwall ISD and Garland ISD. And what you have to understand about Garland ISD is uh, that Garland is a, is a free choice program, right? So what that means is you can actually choose any school that you want uh, your kid to go to in the district, right? So you do this uh, before the school year happens, obviously. Uh, and then what happens is if if that school is full, is uh, if it's full of, of zoned kids already, then you'll just be pushed to your second choice or your third choice, right? And um, uh, but you do have that option to choose whichever school that you want, right? Um, the one downside to getting into uh, one of the schools that you're not zoned for is uh, you won't have uh, the school bus won't come and help you out, right? So uh, so little uh, you know. Uh, uh, 
little uh, pros and cons to, to that, right? So, um, you know, if you get into a school that you're a little bit further away from, then um, yeah, you might uh, might have to be driving your driving your kid to school every day. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it's Rowlett though is you know Rowlett has its own high school, of course, uh, but it, it it is going to be in Garland ISD. So, uh, but some some of, some parts of Rowlett will go into Rockwall. Uh, or feed into rock wall as well. So uh, just something to keep in mind. And yeah, the athletics out here are pretty good as well. So, you know, a uh, little bit, uh, it's a kind of a different lifestyle out here. You know, they take their athletics pretty seriously. You know, that, uh, that R on the side of the helmet, you know, you'll see rock wall in, uh, uh, rock wall and roulette really in, um, you know, making it deep uh, uh, in the state championship uh, uh, playoffs as far as like high school football and everything goes. You guys know football is king here in Texas, right? So uh, that's a that's a pretty big deal for them uh, out there. But uh, yeah, hey, if your kid is an athlete, and um, you know, especially if they're involved in soccer or tennis or martial arts, then you got to get a hold of me. Uh, we'll be able to you know put you into uh, contact with you know a good coach, get you into a good situation for you know whatever level that you're at, right? So whatever your uh, aspirations are and uh, things like that on that front then yeah definitely let me know we'll get you in a good situation there okay so uh, hey if you if this has been uh, helpful to you so far hey please tap that like button down below that would help us out uh, definitely means the world to us if you do that thank you so much make sure you're subscribed as well you know I, I'm born and raised here and I love you know talking about uh, some of the, the insider info that I've picked up over the decades that have lived here right so uh, make sure you tap the bell so that you're notified when the next video comes out. You don't want to miss out when I'm telling you that right now. Okay. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to drive you through this neighborhood a little bit so you can get a little bit better uh, feel for it. And then I'll meet you at the next neighborhood. All right. See you there. All right, real quick, I had to show you the Sapphire Bay development out here. I mean, look at this. It is an absolute beauty, isn't it? Okay, maybe not yet, but all of this, this is going to be a 116 acre development. It's the Sapphire Bay Crystal Lagoon, $1 billion project. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal when it is all complete. You're talking, you know, you're gonna have apartments out here. You're gonna have restaurants. You're gonna have a five-star resort hotel. I mean, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. You're gonna have white sandy beaches. You know, it's gonna have it all. So, uh, but unfortunately it's not gonna, it's not slated to finish until the year 2023. So we still have a couple of years to go. Uh, and if anything changes there, obviously we'll let you know. That's again, that's why you got to be subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications so that you can be notified uh, when this stuff starts to really pop up and take form. But uh, just want to let you know that this is coming. This is on this peninsula right in between. You got Rowlett on that side and Rockwall on that side. So uh, we're right here in the middle and it's going to be absolutely incredible. So. Uh, with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, welcome to the second neighborhood. So this home that we're gonna feature right here is going for 435,000. And get this, you got five beds, four baths on 3,200 square feet right here, which is gonna put you at $137 a square foot, ladies and gentlemen, hard to beat that. And then you've got a, a three car garage, as you can see right there. So you got an extra garage space uh, built in the year 2000 on a nice corner lot right here on a, on a, a lot that's just under a quarter of an acre. Uh, so you got some, some, some decent room out here on this one here. Uh, on the inside, you are gonna have the open floor plan. You've got a game room upstairs, but I will say it did, did need uh, some upgrades on the inside, right? And so I think uh, the price per square foot, you know, certainly is gonna justify uh, that price right there. So if you're looking for, you know, a little bit of a, of a, a project, you know, put some, some upgrades in and, uh, but still have some equity 
you know, kind of built in to, uh, to your home there. So, you know, once you make the upgrades, you know, the, the price of your home could uh, obviously uh, go up quite a bit. Uh, so that's one thing uh, to maybe consider right there for that home. But uh, yeah, this traditional brick style is really gonna dominate in here. You can see it on this side of the street as well. Uh, see it on those ones on that side of the street also. Uh, but yeah, we're in a really nice neighborhood right now. We're in the Waterview neighborhood <clears throat> right now, excuse me. And um, yeah, you've got the athletic fields over there. So, you know, if your kid is an athlete, they'll probably, probably if I could speak today, that'd be awesome. Uh, probably be, um, you know, playing some games, you know, literally right across uh, the main street. Uh, we're on this side of the street from there. But um, uh, yeah, really nice neighborhood in here, really quiet. Uh, just saw the landscaping guy leave. So, you know, everybody's taking pretty good care of their yards and everything in here. You're gonna have some pretty mature trees up here as well. You know, look at this one right here. And then one thing that I did notice is you know, on this side of the street, you don't have a sidewalk, which is not something that you see every day. Of course, uh, on this side, you've got the sidewalk, of course, uh, but yeah, not, not something that you see all the time out here. So, uh, you know, one thing that I definitely noticed out here, but yeah, super quiet. We're pretty tucked away back here, uh, but still close enough to the highway, you know, to the high school is gonna be up the street. You know, you got your grocery store right up the street as well over there. Um, and uh, you got to, so this neighborhood actually has a, a golf course that you know weaves through it here. So you know if you're looking for uh, you know something uh, that backs up to a golf course, you know I, I live on a golf course right now myself, and um, you know I, I absolutely love having that uh, just kind of peace and, and serenity back there. Uh, it's a, a a nice feeling to just come and relax uh, at the golf course uh, to have those views back there. So. Uh, you know, might get lucky. They don't come on the uh, on the market too often, you know, so got to have us working for you so we can let you know when they come up. But uh, yeah, I think uh, this this price point here, we got to talk about just how how popular this price point is, of course, right? So uh, definitely going to be one of the more popular. Uh, homes are moving pretty quickly and it's just something that you got to keep in mind, right? So you got to be organized. You got to have everything ready to go. And um, uh, oh, there's a Oh, look at that big old Rottweiler over there. I, I love dogs, so if you like dogs too, then maybe we can be friends, but um, <laughs> that's awesome. So, um, but anyway, I was talking about, yeah, so the pro you gotta be prepared, okay? So, uh, of course, that's something that we can help you out with, get organized with and everything. Um, not a problem, we do this all the time, of course, right? Uh, but let's talk about something that maybe isn't so popular, which are the property taxes, okay? So, you know, listen, I get it. Texas is known for having higher property taxes than other states, of course. And, you know, yeah, I understand. Uh, but you might want to check out, we did another video where we talk about, I literally break it all down. I do the math and we look at everything from A to Z of the question is, okay, is Dallas a, is it financially smarter from a tax standpoint to, you know, be in Dallas or be somewhere else, right? And I think you might be a little bit surprised at the outcome of that video. So I'll link to that in the description below. We got a couple of links down there you might want to check out as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that one out. That's definitely a good video uh, to get educated on everything that is uh, uh, tax, property taxes and everything like that. So uh, might want to check that one out. But here in Rowlett, the, the property tax rate, at least currently, is at 2.89%, okay, which is a little high for Dallas, as far as Dallas is concerned, okay? Uh, you know, the range here goes from 1.8 to 3.4, and so, yeah, you're, you're a little on the high end out here, but, uh, you know, listen, I, our team takes a little bit different approach, you know, complaining isn't a productive use of time. You know, we're gonna make sure that all the numbers make sense for you before you pull the trigger so that you feel really, really confident about your new home. And I, I believe our team is the best in the world at finding you your dream home at the right price. Uh, but we can't help you if you don't reach out. So, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you want to jump on that Zoom call. Again, that's our favorite, but uh, whatever way is easiest for you, you know we've got your back. We're making the move out here. So, uh, but this should give you a pretty good idea of 
what you can get in this, uh, you know, four to $500,000 price point. Uh, we got some dogs who are, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, looking after the neighborhood out here. And so uh, um, with that being said, let me take you around this one as I always do. And, and then I'll meet you at the next neighborhood. All right, see you there. All right, real quick, I had to show you the Rowlett Creek Nature Preserve out here. So this is just one of the entrances uh, out here. So you can see, uh, might be able to see that pond back there in the back. This is a little park uh, right here. You got a baseball field or more like a softball field right there. Uh, and then you got the jungle gym and everything out there. But this, this little trail right here goes for 15 and a half miles all the way through and then, you know, weaves in and throughout the uh, nature preserve right there. So. Um, yeah, one of those things where, you know, if you're trying to get a, a nice little workout, uh, you know, through, through some nature, then uh, this is where you'll want to come for sure. So uh, just wanted to show you this real quick and let you know it's here. Again, this is just one of the entrances. I was actually just at another one, but there wasn't really like a, a, a good, you couldn't really see anything. Uh, it was just a, a bunch of entrances uh, and some people uh, in the parking lot setting up their bicycles and everything like that to go. Uh, on a nice little workout this morning. So uh, yeah, just want to let you know this is here. And with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood. See you there. All right, welcome to the third neighborhood. I wanted to show you some new construction here. So uh, this one that we're going to feature right here is going to go for 550,000, four beds, uh, three baths on 2,900 square feet, which is going to put you at a, a decent price per square foot at $186 a square foot right there. You're gonna have a two car garage and uh, sitting on uh, right at 0.18 of an acre out here. So a little bit more space than uh, what you can normally find uh, when you're talking about new construction in Dallas. Uh, we've got a, uh, a worker truck about to come by, but um, yeah, the styles here, I'll kind of show you some of the style. You're gonna have that brick and stone combination as you can kind of see over there. This neighborhood's pretty cool because you've got uh, a green belt uh, on that side. You've got a trail that's running all the way around here as well. And uh, uh, yeah, just really wanted to show you that this exists out here. The price range for all new construction in Rowlett is going from three, 330,000 all the way up to 560,000. And you're finding pretty good prices per square foot out here uh, as far as Dallas is concerned, like I mentioned again. so. If you have a flexible timeline and you want to get into something brand new like this, then of course we can definitely help you out with that. So if that's what you're looking for, then I got to let us know, got to reach out. But uh, with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, welcome to the fourth neighborhood. So this home that we're going to feature right here is on a corner lot right here. They got the uh, sprinklers going as well. So uh, this one is going for 595,000 four beds, three and a half baths on 3,300 square feet, which is gonna put you at $178 a square foot. You are gonna have a two car garage on the uh, uh, access through the driveway uh, right over there. And uh, built in 1992 on a, a full quarter of an acre right here. You're gonna have that open floor plan on the inside, fully updated kitchen. You've, you've even got some pretty awesome views of Lake Ray Hubbard right here as well. I'll try to uh, walk down this way. Maybe we can catch a, a little sneak peek here for you. But um, yeah, trees in here. I mean, it's it's that uh, night or early 90s, right? So you're gonna have some pretty uh, pretty good growth trees. You can see kind of down that street that way. You know, landscaping is here. I just saw a uh, Sunset Lawns. That's a good name for a lawn company right there. Uh, especially out here in Rowlett and Rockwall, right? So, so here's uh, your backyard. Oh, looks like you have a, an extra uh, space right there, a carport right there. Uh, you can kind of see it through there. It's kind of blocked though, but uh, what happens is they have a second floor um, uh, balcony that looks over the, the lake right there. It's pretty sick actually right there. So 
uh, yeah, traditional brick once again, gonna be uh, gonna be dominant in here. Um, pretty quiet back here as well as you might expect as you get closer to the lake. You know, it's gonna be a little bit more quiet, of course. Uh, but you're still, again, you're pretty close to the highway. That's the cool thing about Roulette is you're never gonna be. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you can see a little bit more water down there. But that's the thing is you're, you're never gonna be too far from uh, Route 66 or uh, George Bush or 30 right there. So you can really get access to really uh, everything right there. So um, yeah, safety wise, uh, gotta gotta talk about the safety out here. So you know. We were in a gated community earlier, right? Uh, but uh, uh, I did notice some of the numbers were uh, a little bit higher than maybe I would have expected, honestly. And uh, uh, so the, the needs.com rated it as a C plus on safety. So, um, you know, a little bit lower than I might've expected, but uh, you know, it is what it is. The numbers are the numbers, but at the same time, on that same website, you know, 98% of residents reported in a poll that they feel safe and that crime doesn't really impact them that much. So, um, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, you got some pretty cool homes up here. I got to show you this home up here. Oh, we got some Dallas Christian people out here. So Dallas Christian is a private school out here. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now you can kind of see some of the better view of the water right there and then you got this home right here that's a beautiful home right there so um yeah but this should give you a pretty good idea of kind of what you can get in that six hundred thousand dollar range uh but yeah with that being said well it is actually now time for the top listing in all of Rowlett. so stay tuned and i'll meet you there All right, real quick, I had to show you Rowlett Community Park. So this is really a, a, an athletic complex out here. So you've got you know, four baseball diamonds right here. You've got some soccer fields down on that side. You've got a little playground going on over there. You've got uh, four more baseball diamonds over here. You've got, actually, I forgot about more soccer fields on that side, on the back side over there. And then, uh, so th if, you're, if, you're, if your kid is an athlete, you'll probably be, probably be spending some time here and then uh, coming through, you can kind of see some of those homes maybe over there. So this is uh, the Waterview neighborhood over here, which is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in all of Rowlett. So uh, driving through here, you know, you'll be driving through some really cool homes. Uh, and uh, hey, maybe you could uh, uh, get one of those homes in, in this Waterview neighborhood out here and be super close to, to game day out here. So uh, anyway, with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, are you ready for the top listing in all of Rowlett? Well, here she is. This one is going for 1.1 million, four beds, three baths with two half baths as well on 4,400 square feet. You got a four car garage on the back side. There's the driveway over there. Uh, and this home was built in the year 2000 on uh, three quarters of an acre right here on this beautiful cul-de-sac. You've got some great neighbors over here as well but uh, yeah this beautiful custom home uh, is inside a gated community here and uh, it's going to feature italian white marble all throughout the downstairs you've got luxury carpet upstairs of course you got a beautiful kitchen fully updated uh, and completely ready for entertaining and uh, you step outside to the backyard and it's going to feature a 40 gallon saltwater pool with an adjacent hot tub of course how could you live without the hot tub uh, you've also got an, a full outdoor kitchen out there and you've even got a, a sand volleyball court in the back as well. So if you're looking for, you know, that affordable luxury only 25 minutes away from downtown Dallas, then, you know, hey, this one could be calling your name. So uh, uh, what I want to do now is give you a, a nice little recap here on uh, Rowlett. So, you know, uh, you're going to have uh, 
a few lakefront properties out here. Of course, they don't uh, come on the market all too often, but they do jump out there every now and then. This one is actually a lakefront property, your neighbor out here. Uh, the lake is actually, it goes, uh, you can kind of see it maybe through the, the garage gate right there. It kind of goes over there and it kind of stops over there. So this one isn't gonna be uh, considered lakefront property, but uh, pretty, pretty close right here. But uh, if you're looking for that, then you know, you'll want to uh, uh, definitely have us working for you, that's for sure. Um, yeah, and then you're gonna be, uh, your neighbor is gonna be, you know, Rockwall. So Rockwall and Rowlett, sometimes they get confused, by the way, just because they both start with R or maybe R-O, uh, and, uh, uh, and there's a W in there as well. So Rowlett, Rockwall, they kind of get confused sometimes. So Rowlett is the closer one to Dallas, and Rockwall is on the other side of the lake uh, from, uh, from Dallas over here. So. Um, that's the difference and I feel like rock wall gets a little bit more love, you know, uh, to be fair, uh, you know, having the rock wall harbor district out there, you know, there's a little bit more stuff to do over in rock wall. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, you know, if you're just looking for, you know, that, that one home to, you know, just kind of live in there, if you kind of like to stay at home and just, you know, you go to the grocery store and you don't mind driving across the lake, maybe, you know, uh, more than five minutes, but less than 10 minutes uh, to get over to uh, the Rockwall Harbor area, then I think this is a, an incredible option over here is Rowlett. Um, obviously a little bit, uh, it's nice to be on this side of the lake as well, get a little bit closer to Dallas, but you're definitely gonna get some really good bang for your buck out here in Rowlett. But uh, as always, I like to, you know, summarize everything into three words. So for Rowlett, I'm gonna go with definitely affordable, as you can probably tell, uh, definitely based on the price per square foot uh, of the homes that we showed today. Uh, super, super affordable. Uh, that lakeside living is gonna be number two. You know, you're right here. Uh, you know, you can see, I mean, we're looking at the lake right now through that little uh, sliver right there. Uh, and then thirdly is gonna be how family friendly uh, Rowlett is as a whole. I mean, uh, when it comes down to even like the restaurants are, are very accommodating to having kids and you know, different things like that. So uh, definitely a family friendly suburb. So uh, yeah, hey, if Rowlett is where you wanna be, then you gotta reach out, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you wanna jump straight to a Zoom with us. You know, hey, you guys know my face, I'd love to, know learn about you guys and what your story is and what you're looking for in your next home so go ahead and schedule that all, everything in the description down below uh, and if this was helpful for you hey tap that like button make sure you're subscribed as well i'm telling you you don't want to miss the next video that we drop so make sure you tap the bell as well while you're down there and if you're continuing your research here i want to invite you you know tap the dallas texas living name down below that'll take you to our main channel page and you can use the search bar on our page to look up whatever it is that you're looking for whether it's a, a specific topic or a specific area or areas that you're that you're really looking at uh, then odds are i've done a video on it if i haven't just yet then uh, yeah drop me a comment down below let me know what it is that you're looking for and i'm happy to you know bump up the priority based on the demand that you guys want, right? So I do this for you guys, okay? So uh, let me know what you guys want. I respond to everybody in the comments, by the way, so let's get that conversation going. You know, if you've lived in Rowlett before, or if you currently live here just watching this for fun, then uh, let, it, let us know uh, if there's anything I missed, any, any cool spots that you recommend, different things like that. Let's get it going uh, in the conversation uh, below. Uh, and if you don't know where to go from here, then you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now. They could definitely point you in the right direction. Uh, you know, we, of course, we do a ton of different styles of videos out here, all designed to give you the, the best education possible before you come and before you start making your move over here. So uh, definitely click on one of those, whichever one's popping out to you. And with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you around town.